Well, joining me now is head of the very new Australian Space Agency, Megan Clark. Megan, thank you so much for joining us. This is, as I said, really new. How has it all come about? Well, yes, we are, we're only 12 weeks old, so I think we're the newest uh, space agency. And Australia's got a, had a very proud history in space. We were right there at the beginning. Of course, we were the receiving station when Armstrong walked on the moon. So this is part of our psyche, but we really haven't participated to the level we should have in the last few decades. So this is really Australia getting back into the picture and we, uh, we want to get back in a big way. So there must be quite a few challenges ahead then. There are challenges. We want to completely transform the Australian space industry at a time when, in fact, the space industry itself is undergoing a major transformation. So whilst we're a little late to this party, <laughs> We can, we can enter this at a time when everyone is adjusting to new space. Well, you talk about transformation, so how has the idea of someone going into space changed? The idea of someone going into space is changing almost by the day. So we're starting to see space tourism coming into play, where suborbital flight, even if it's just for a very short time, is coming in. And that's bringing in whole new ways of getting into space in terms of takeoff um, on reusable aircraft, etc. We're also looking at the supply to both the ISS as well, the Lunar Orbiter. And so we'll see opportunities to go to space, not just living in the station, um, not just doing exploration, but actually now in supply vessels. And then who's providing that is changing. So the entrance of the commercial players, working in partnership with the space agencies, but also offering commercial opportunities in their own right. So it's really broadened out. And what special contribution do you think that Australia is placed to, to make? Well, we've got, certainly we're a fantastic place to connect with, with space. And so we're already seeing um, strong interest from space uh, tourism side of things. And of course, if you're going to pay a lot of money to go up into space, you want to look down and see something pretty spectacular. Well, there's nothing more spectacular than the Great Barrier Reef looking at, uh, at that from suborbital. So we've got some wonderful things to offer as, as a country for space tourism. And as a country, how has the public then responded to the ASA? Well, that's completely blown us away. We, we have 25 million people in Australia, so we're a small country. In, uh, in the first 12 weeks of the agency, 20 million Australians have seen, heard or read about the agency. This is a complete record for anything the Australian government has done. And it's all positive. So that has completely blown us away. It surprised the government as well. The Australian people have space in their psyche and they have completely welcomed across the board a new Australian Space Agency. So very finally, what's your absolute vision, your dream for the ASA? Where would you like to see it? We, we want Australians to be proud of what Australia can do in space. We're not limiting our vision at all. Whether this is interplanetary, whether this is colonisation, whether this is looking for life, we want Australians to look up and be part of that. We're too small at the moment to lead major missions, but we absolutely can work with our international partners and be part of that. We want to transform. Uh, the Australian space industry. It's a $4 billion industry now. Uh, we want to add 20,000 jobs to that, very high-end jobs, and, uh, and we want to see a complete transformation of Australia in, in this new era. Megan Clark, many congratulations. Best of luck with it. Thank you for joining us. Thanks. We'll need a bit of luck, so thank you very much.